more than 750 years before Christ was born, there was in Israel one prophet called Isaiah, and he prophesied that the Messiah or Christ would be born sometimes in the future. In the city called Nazareth in Judea lived a beautiful lady called Mary. One day, one angel of the Lord appeared to Mary, and she got so scared. But the angel said, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And then he told her that she would get a baby son whose name would be Jesus. And he said, He shall be great and shall be called the Son of the Highest and the Lord shall give him the throne of his father David. This same Mary got married to a man called Joseph. Then after a while this man Joseph got the information that he and his wife Mary would have to go to a city called Bethlehem for to pay their taxes. So they went and probably Mary was riding on a donkey, for she was expecting a baby, and it was far away for them to travel. Then when they finally came to Bethlehem, after that long ride, they tried to find a place where to sleep. Now lots of people had come to Bethlehem, just like Mary and Joseph, to pay their taxes. So all the hotels were full, and there were no vacancies. Now, what should they do? Mary was going to have her baby any minute, and they did not even have a place where to stay. Then the hotel keeper told them that the only place where they could stay was in a barn across the road where they kept sheep and cows. There Jesus was born, and because there were no bed for Mother Mary, where to lay the baby Jesus, they had to put him in a manger, where they kept hay, so it might have been pretty soft anyhow. At the same time, there were shepherds out in the field, watching their flocks at night. Then suddenly one angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord was shining on them, and they became so afraid. But the angel told them not to be afraid, that he had something very important thing to tell them, something that would be of a wonderful blessing to all the people of the world. And he told them that a Savior had been born in the city of David, which was Bethlehem. And he told them also where to find the baby. Now they saw a big bunch of angels, and they were all singing praises to God. Now the shepherds said one to another, Let us all go into Bethlehem and see this thing that has been come to pass, which the Lord has made known unto us. And they all came to Bethlehem and found Mary, Joseph, and the newborn baby Jesus, who was lying in the manger. And they all went and see baby Jesus, and they were so glad, and were praising and glorifying God for the wonderful thing that they saw. And the one shepherd boy brought a little lamb with him that he gave to baby Jesus. There were three wise men living in the eastern countries who had read from the scriptures about the king of the Jews that would be born at this same time. And they decided to go and find out where the place could be. These wise men were traveling by camels for several days, and when they came close to Bethlehem, 
they saw a big star in the sky and that star went before them and they knew that the Lord tried to show them where they could find the newborn king. And the star stopped above the place where Joseph, Mary, and the newborn baby was. These wise men had brought very expensive gifts that they gave to baby Jesus because they knew that the, he was a very important child that would be very famous in the time to come. Later, Joseph and Mary with baby Jesus returned to their home in Nazareth where he grew up and he had to learn many things, yes, like all other children in those days, but the Spirit of the Lord was with him. However, dear children, grandchildren and all of you, the Christmas bells are once more ringing and we are so far away from you in a foreign land and you don't know how much we are missing you. But we have those old wonderful memories from those Christmas Eves in the past. Yes, those wonderful memories. I can almost hear the noise of our grandchildren running around in the rooms. I can feel the smell of lutefish that grandma is cooking in the kitchen, mixed with the smell from rice pudding coming out from the oven when she did open the door for to check and see if the pudding was already done. I can see the table in the big room loaded with all kinds of goodies that only could put, be put on a table on an evening like this, Christmas Eve. Yes, I can see the many gift packages under the tree waiting for to be opened and for to bring joy and excitement to our grandchildren especially and to all of us of course. I can see the line of hungry souls lining up with the paper plates in the hands which were too small for getting room for all the many good things that grandma had prepared in the kitchen. Oh, how good it tasted. But you see, grandma is the best cook in the whole world. And how much fun we had together. I can almost hear the joyous laughter from us all especially from Robert and Anne. Their voices were louder than ours. Then everybody was waiting for the table to be cleared and put to the side because something special was going to happen. Yes, it was the Christmas presents that was in the, everybody's mind, especially the children's. How exciting! and the children were eager to start giving out the gifts. And it didn't take long time before the floor was covered with all kinds of beautiful wrapping papers and all kinds of gifts. Thank you, thank you. Everybody was happy and grateful for the gifts that we have all received. Yes, Christmas is for the children. We should all be like children and help them build memories, happy memories, to remember as long as they live. I regret that I did not spend more time with you children when you were small, because of my busy schedule for making a living, but you all turned out to be the best kids in the whole world, and we are so grateful to our Father in Heaven for what you are. Every day we pray to our Father in Heaven that He may bless you all with health and strength, that you may have love at home and be good examples to your children, to spend time with them, have family home evenings, and bring them up in a manner pleasing to our Father in Heaven, so they may become good missionaries. We ask Him to bless you in your daily work, 
to protect you all and your homes, to have love for each other, and take time to go to the temple and live the gospel principles. Yes, I know that you do all these things. You know, we love you all so very, very much, and we wish you the very best. Dear children, grandchildren and little Brittany, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas time. But we miss you very much and wish we could be there. And I hope, children, that you have a wonderful, wonderful time. And love your children and be together. And God bless you, Grandma. Good by me, details we met again. More on sword and trust, dig war. Slut, dig till sand, strygga skara. Good var med dig tills vi möts igen. Tills vi möts, tills vi möts, tills vi möts i himlens land. Tills vi möts, tills vi möts, Good var med dig tills vi möts igen.